Welcome to Duquesne Center for Legal Information. I'm Dana Nakshu, the director of the center. In the next few minutes, you are going to hear from students like you who have used our many services and from law librarians who work here. Hi all, my name is Nikki Kabir and I am a 2022 graduate of Duquesne Law School. I'm currently studying for the bar in one of the 16 study rooms that the DCLI provides to Duquesne Law students. I wanted to congratulate you on beginning your law school career and remind you to make use of the many resources that Duquesne Law provides to its students, including the DCLI. Hi everyone, my name is Alexis. I am a 2022 graduate and I was the editor-in-chief for volume 60 of the Duquesne Law Review. Um, I would say that the law library is a great resource for student research, um, especially if you do you know, research for a journal or are working on a journal for writing credit. The law librarians are extremely helpful um, in procuring some more obscure sources that you might not have readily available to you on Westlaw or even in our own library. They'll pull them from um, other libraries locally or around the country for you. Wellness is a term that began really being used heavily within the last five or so years. The DCLI has been amazing this year in not just advocating for wellness, but in fact promoting it. In conjunction with the Student Bar Association, it developed a wellness program that focuses on getting students to take a step out of the classroom and enjoy local cultural attractions included but not limited to local museums and art galleries. It's interesting as well because while the focus is on the students, the Pittsburgh community at large benefits as some of these lesser known attractions also can benefit from the increased traffic, word of mouth recommendations, and the potential to form partnerships with the law school. It's truly spectacular in that it shows the school and the DCLI more specifically advocate not just for student wellness, but community wellness. And as a member of any society or community, we have a unique responsibility to improve it in our own unique ways. Hi, what else? My name is Annabelle and I am the current SBA president and rising 3L student. And I just wanna tell you that I love the DCLI because they have allowed me to use some of my creative skills that I haven't been able to use for a while. And through the DCLI, I've been able to compete in and win their poster contest, their promotion poster contest, uh, two semesters in a row. Um, so I've been able to make a poster that has been seen throughout the entire law school by all my peers. And I get to have lunch with the DCLI as a reward. And I also get a little bit of prize money, which is never too bad as a, as a poor law student. My name is Anastasia Omnodin from Nigeria, and I'm a recent LLM graduate of the King University School of Law. I would like to talk about the DCLI book club and what I gained from it as an international student. The DCLI book club provided me with an opportunity of learning in an informal setting. I got to learn and understand about certain topics like segregation, the Jim Crow legislation, and I had conversations with professors and colleagues that enabled me to think outside the box. The time spent at the DCLI book club empowered me with the ability to, you know, query things about how things exist and why they are, why the policies are the way they are, and if there are rooms for these certain policies to be changed or adjusted. Um, and I would say that the time spent at the DCLA book club was actually refreshing, enlightening, and empowering. Hello everyone, my name is Falco. I'm a rising 3L here at Duquesne Law. And I just wanted to talk to you for a minute about the DCLI, the Duquesne Center for Legal Information. Don't let the name fool you. The DCLI is here for much more than just helping you with your legal research. For example, the wellness program is a great way that the DCLI is investing in students here at Duquesne Law. And uh, for example, last semester, I attended one of the DCLI wellness programs to the Heinz History Center. And uh, these wellness programs are free of charge to students. And the DCLI takes them to uh, different museums and art galleries around the city throughout the semester. And it's a great way to just be refreshed, take your mind off of uh, studying the law for a little bit and get a break from the otherwise crazy semesters here at Duquesne Law. So I highly encourage you to get involved in DCLI Wellness. Thanks for listening and best wishes this coming year.
Hello everybody, this is Chuck Sproles. We are so happy you could join us today. I'm the head of Information Access Center for Legal Information. I'm also one of the law, facult law library faculty uh, that are here to help and support you during your law school career. And then we will highlight some features of the ground floor of the law library. I primarily assist the Duquesne University School of Law community and the general public providing research and library facility support, as well as teaching several classes, including the upper level research for law practice course, the paralegal legal research methods course, and the pre-law legal research and writing course as well. This year, we are joined with a new evening and weekend supervisor, uh, Michaela Stoddart. Michaela brings extensive educational and work experience uh, to the center. And we are very fortunate that she will be available, especially during the weekends, uh, to assist you. Okay, so I also provide uh, uh, outreach through the DCLI Beat, which is our online newsletter. Uh, we send it through email uh, at least every other week during the school year. And so that's our main way of uh, you know, maintaining contact and letting you know as a user important things uh, going on with the law library. And I also coordinate with student organizations like the SBA or others and uh, definitely provide student training sessions and that could be for some of those electronic resources like so we're going to see that there are some features on the ground floor uh, the treatise collection or the classified law, uh, library book collection okay so here's a map of the ground floor of the law library and uh, you'll find these maps in a number of places uh, we make sure that we post them on, on our website, for instance. Here's an image of the Broughton Mindfulness and Meditation Center that we, we uh, mentioned earlier. And the center, um, you'll often find here in the center that there are different activities being hosted. Uh, it could be yoga. In fact, not just any old yoga, but uh, some of the instructors are some uh, locally recognized experts. In this location or any location or library, you're going to see that there are outlets and plugins uh, nearby. So uh, at any one of the, uh, you know, over 400 seats in the facility, uh, you could plug in and start using either your laptop or other device, and it's readily available for you. So mentioned study rooms earlier. We're going to talk a little bit more about those now. Uh, like I mentioned, they're kind of popular. There's a very good chance you'll find yourself using those at some point. Uh, there are 10 collaborative uh, study rooms. Here's the interior of a typical study room on the ground floor. This is the seminar room, and, and we briefly mentioned that as well. So that concludes the, the ground floor segment of the, the tours for the law library uh, best wishes on the fall semester and we look forward to seeing you at the law library hello everyone my name is katie lynch and i am the faculty research and outreach services librarian here at the duquesne center for legal information i'm here to talk to you guys about what i do and give you guys a library tour of the second floor of the dcli building if that's okay with you my current job responsibility is being at the research help desk Monday through Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m. and uh, helping the daytime and evening students with whatever research questions they have. I also work with the Lexis and Westlaw vendors. So, for example, if you forgot or lost your Lexis and Westlaw registration passwords, you can come to me and I can get you set up. I also have Cali cards and pens if you're interested in free stuff. I'm also responsible for faculty research. So if any of you end up being a research assistant or an RA to the faculty in the future and you need assistance with research projects, you can come see me if you need to. This is just a layout of what the second floor of the DCLI contains. When you actually enter into law school, 
you're not on the first floor of the building. So the first photo that I'm showing you is the entrance to the DCLI. It's open to Duquesne Law members. After going through the front door of the DCLI, on the left-hand side, you're going to see a collection of books. It is a mix of new publications that we added to the DCLI collection, as well as faculty publications. The circulation desk is mostly run by student assistants who are law students working part-time, and their job is to help and that's run by a mix of student assistants, faculty, and staff. Hello, my name is Amy Lovell, and I've had the pleasure of working at the Duquesne Center for Legal Information for more than 20 years. My current title is Assistant Director for Resource Development and Metadata Services, which is just a fancy way of saying that my job is to make sure that you have the library resources you need when you need them. My job is mainly behind the scenes, but if you are an early riser, you may see me at the information desk and at other times. I also help answer questions submitted to the DCLI at duq.edu email address and monitor the center's chat box. I also have the privilege of making sure the snack bowl is filled. As you enter the center, you will notice a display of new print titles as well as other subject-oriented and featured displays throughout the semester. You'll be hearing more about our print collections later in this video. We have other resources on our website to help guide you to find print resources, but at this point, just make sure to look for the library catalog search box, which is always accessible on the center's homepage, which is a great starting point. On the right, as you enter the center, located behind the information desk, is the reserve room. The center tries to buy one copy of each required course book and print, which you may borrow for in-library use for a few hours. Just ask one of the student aides for assistance in locating your course books. While your focus may initially be on your course books and on learning perhaps how to use Westlaw and Lexis, there are a few other electronic resources that you may find useful to know about at the beginning of the semester. More details on how to access these databases may be found on the center's homepage or just drop us an email at dcli at duq.edu and we'll be happy to point you in the right direction. The first database is the Lexis Digital Library, which is primarily a collection of ebook study aids such as the Questions and Answers series and the Understanding series, plus some other great finds. Another resource that every law student at Duquesne has access to is Quimby. Quimby is a great study aid tool that provides access to case briefs, courses, videos, flashcards. Again, more details are available on how to access Quimby on the center's homepage. Another resource you should be aware of is the Duquesne Scholarship Collection. This repository is home to the Law Review's Electronic Archives, recently published faculty scholarship, and, newly, and a newly established collection of digitized books in the public domain, which also includes a fascinating book discussing the examination questions from the 1910 bar exam. While we try to have everything you may need ready for the semester, we realize that you might still need something that we don't currently own. If you have a purchase suggestion, please email us at dcli at duq.edu and we will do our best to provide you with access to whatever it is that you may need.